Hey fellow SweetScript developers, Eric from Stoic Software here again today, and in this video we continue our series on transitioning our searches from SweetScript 1.0 to 2.0. In this edition we explore working with search columns in SweetScript 2.0. Uh, now to coincide with this series of videos on searching, I have also created a series of cookbooks uh, focused on searching. Uh, so if you are tired of NetSuite's unrealistic or sometimes broken examples, then these cookbooks are definitely for you. You will find a link to all the details on the cookbooks down at the top of the video description. All right, well, let's get started. Now we begin by looking at the APIs for creating and manipulating search columns. So in order to specify columns, we use the search modules create column method. Um, and as you can see, there are a lot of options when you create a column. We will focus in this video on a few of the most common, uh, so the name, the summary, and the sorting. Uh, as always, these APIs are best explored through an example. So let's build a search that finds all active employees hired exactly one year ago today. As always, we will start with our search in 1.0. So this is the 1.0 version of a search that will show all employees hired exactly one year ago today uh, that are still active and it will retrieve their first name, last name, and email address. Now how does that look in 2.0? Here is the 2.0 version of that same search. So we use the create column method to define our columns. And we use the search results get value method to retrieve the value of each individual column. Now, much like search filters have a more concise filter expression syntax that we see here. Uh, we can also, or we also have a much more concise syntax for columns where we only need to specify the column by its name. So there we're just specifying columns by their names. Uh, so a little bit shorter, much more concise. Now we can also use columns to specify uh, sorting. We can sort our search results using our column definitions. Now in SweetScript 1.0, we used the columns set sort method to define our sorting. And we passed that method a Boolean value indicating the direction of the sort. In SweetScript 2.0, we specify the sort direction as an option when we create the column. And the direction is specified using the search module's sort enumeration. So let's sort the results of our previous example by the employee's last names. You can see here we have switched to the object syntax, just like we could for filters. Uh, for our last name column so that we can specify its sort property. So note here that we can intermingle the syntaxes or the notations that we use to define our columns. So I've used just the name for first name and email and then I switched to the object syntax for the last name column because I needed to specify more options. Uh, nothing changes when, we, when we've sorted our results. Nothing changes in the way that we retrieve our values. And we can also summarize our search results using different column functions like sum or count. In SweetScript 1.0, we specified summaries by their name as a string. In SweetScript 2.0, column summary types are provided by the search module's summary enumeration. So let's summarize our previous example by, instead of returning 
data for individual employees, let's just count how many were hired today uh, one year ago. Now typically we need to count by something unique. So in this case we will be counting employees by internal ID. So here we have added our internal ID count column. So we will count the number of employees hired this day last year. Uh, we do that by switching to our object syntax and specifying the summary property of the column. Now, when we go to retrieve a summarized column, we need to pass the summary property to the get value method as well. Uh, and they need to match. So the summary that we specify in get value needs to match the summary that was specified when we defined the column. Now, lastly, we'll take a look at the APIs used to modify the columns on an existing search. This will all look very similar to the filters functionality we've seen previously. So in SweetScript 1.0, there were many different methods for retrieving and manipulating the search columns. In 2.0, we get direct access to the columns array via the search's columns property. This makes modifying that array much more concise and much more powerful because we can just use any standard JavaScript array method to add or remove columns from the array. Now at this point in our series, we have actually got the essential pieces of searching in SweetScript 2.0. So we can create and load searches, then we can add filters and columns to them. So those are the basic foundation pieces of any search. Um, however, there is still much, much more advanced uh, work that we can do with searches. And so if you are looking to accelerate your mastery of searches in SweetScript, make sure you check out this cookbooks link. You will find one down in the video description. That is it for this lesson. So if you liked what you saw here, hit that thumbs up button. Go share what you learned with somebody else. Click subscribe to stay tuned to all of our videos on SweetScript 2.0. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Keep sharing. Keep learning. And I will see you next time.